Okay, Chuckles, here we go. So uh, you want to tune up your guitar with your uh, electric tuner. That's what you should, your D chord should sound like. And your A7. Those are the only two chords we're going to use on this first video. The D and the A7. Um, and we're going to use three different strums. One we're going to use is just a single down strum on every beat. So... And then the next one you're going to go to is a down up motion. And if you want to do it in parts, the first part will just be doing a... got that nice and smooth then you want to go to where on the first four of the four the eight eighth notes you're hitting just a couple strings in the middle and then going to all of them so like this the last strum and now that one remember starts with just up and down eighth notes and then eventually you work to the point where you can do couple all couple all couple all okay uh, and then the last one we're going to do is picking where you pick a single note and then strum so like this On the D chord, I'm picking the fourth string, alternating with the fifth string. On the A7, I'm picking the fifth string, alternating with the fourth string. So we got... Notice that both of those last ones are kind of a boom chick. That one's based on eighth notes. This is based on quarters. Okay, now what I suggest is you just start with that first one and play that all the way through each song until you've got that. You're making the changes without any problems. Your right hand is never stopping. And then try to incorporate the, the next strum. Now on these songs, I'm going to alternate. So like on this first one, Skip to My Lou, I'm going to play the first two verses with just the single stroke strum, the quarter note strums. And then the third and fourth verse, I'll go to the... the eighth note strum where you're doing the first four, first two eighth notes on a couple strings and the second two on all of them, third two on just a couple, fourth two on all of them, and then the last two verses I'll go to the picking one. I'm presuming you can see both hands here okay. Uh, all right, here we go. Skip to my loo. Lost my partner, what'll I do? Lost my
playing that second one the that third stroke of four so it's like one and two and those last two aren't really full strums only the third one it's giving a boom chick okay the next song down in the valley is in three four so instead of uh, four beats, we're doing three. With the quarter notes, we've got three. With the eighth note strum, we've got. So instead of a boom chick, or it's an oom pa pa, oom pa pa, because we're in three quarter. And then the last one. And once again, I'll do two verses with each one. Here we go. Down in the
hope that helps. Fingers are starting to hurt there. Okay, I'm going to move my uh, thing up here a little bit. And we're going to do Mockingbird. And for Mockingbird, we are going to go and put our capos on the fifth fret. And <clears throat> with the capo on the fifth fret, you're going to play your D chord with your first fingers, first two fingers on the seventh fret. It's actually in G. And we're back to 4-4 four, four time. Okay, and uh, okay, here we go. Uh, and once again, so we got quarter notes, then eighth notes, and then the picking. Picking quarter notes with an alternating bass. All right, here we go. Hush, 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 uh, uh, quarter notes. Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Papa's gonna buy you a mockingbird. If that mockingbird don't sing, Papa's gonna buy you a diamond ring. If that diamond ring turns brass, Papa's gonna buy you a looking glass. If that looking glass gets broke, Papa's gonna buy you a bill. Once again, just a reminder, all the way through, work on just one strum at a time. I'm just recording all of them so you have them there in each song if you want to check them. Um, but, you know, you want to get just the quarter notes down first before you switch to the eighth notes. And once again, remember the eighth notes can start with full strums. Before you do the... The oop -ha, oop -ha, oop -ha. Okay, but it's all eighth notes. And then, of course, this is the hardest one. All right, we're going to do Old Joe Clark. We're putting our capo on the third fret with our fingers, our first two fingers on the fifth fret. <clears throat> old Joe Clark. Now, on Old Joe Clark, I'll do all three, but actually, the actual way this, I used to teach a song to my students is Round and round, old Joe Clark, around and round I say. We would do 16th notes. Uh, yeah, on the on the A chord. This one's tough because you got that. I'll do that always. But then at the end, A got long to say. This is going to really work on your change. Because you go D, A, 17. Okay, here we go. Uh, Round and round, old Joe Clark, round and round I say. Round and round, old Joe Clark, ain't got long to stay. Round and round, old Joe Clark, round and round I say. Round and round, old Joe Clark, ain't got long to stay. I went down to old Joe's house, fifteen stories high. Every story in that house is filled with chicken pie. Never been there before. He slept on a feather bed and 
chased that bump around that holler tree. Round and round, old Joe Clark, round and round, I say. Round and round, old Joe Clark ain't got long to stay. Round and round, old Joe Clark, round and round, I say. Round and round, old Joe Clark ain't got long to stay. Round and round, old Joe Clark, round and round, I say. There's a challenge for you. Okay, uh, the last song we're gonna do with the D and the A7 is Aunt Rhody. And uh, I'm gonna just hit my little thing here so it keeps us fresh. And this is in 4-4, and again, we'll do the three strums. Uh, let's see. I got one, two, three, four, five, six all together. So I will do two of each one. Okay, there you go. Have fun. I'll be sending shortly uh, some exercises, some songs for C and G7, and then for uh, G and D7, and then some songs that combine uh, D, A7, and G. Uh, all for now. Keep me posted on progress. <laughs>